Hi all, I wanted to talk with you about what to do when salvation comes too late. Basically, first thing, first thing is don't beat yourself up, up don't beat yourself up about it because you might end up rejecting Jesus and God. So, you know, accept it for, for what it is and just gently move on gently move on and just get on and get and get to learn about Jesus and and and, and take your time and you know you might you might you might feel the need to rush but take your time and if you if you want to rush then rush but you know don't get frustrated with it just take your time as well and just just go at your own pace don't go at anybody else's pace you know just 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 cruise just cruise just just relax and and enjoy, and enjoy it and there is a there is a purpose why why you 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 got you got salvation late you know don't don't underestimate it because it's you know it, if it comes late then then you then, then then that means you have you have much more wisdom in the world to teach to teach people much more much wisdom in the world to to instruct in, to instruct and encourage in, in encourage individual in, instruct and encourage individuals and to be able to direct them in the right in the right directions and to warn gently as well so don't underestimate it your late salvation or salvations and you know yeah try not to even if even if you were you were backwards and forwards backwards and forwards don't worry about it don't worry about it at all you're here now so just make the difference whilst you whilst you're on planet earth don't regret it try not to regret it try not to to dwell on it you know because if you dwell on it too much it could easily be from the enemy trying to remind you and trying to find, trying to give you excuses of, of leaving Christianity. So you know, don't underestimate it. Your late salvation, and you know, you could easily ask God to pray to live to live a certain amount of years. You know, you could easily do that, but it's down to you. It's between you and God, no one else. Not between me and you. Not not between anybody else. Just between you and God. But it, it 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 all depends on God as well. Mainly depends on God because if you say you want to live a certain amount of age, like you want to live a, you want to live an extra an extra five, ten, fifteen years, twenty years in in Christianity, and God wants you to live another five, ten years, and you don't agree with it, you know, there, there, there's obviously a purpose why God says that, and you know. Try not to argue with God if God reveals it to you. Try not to argue with God if 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 you know you if you know if you know your time's up on planet Earth. Don't try not to argue with God about it because there is a purpose for it. Because suppose you live you live you, you live to to. If you suppose you live to a certain age, sorry, I'm going now. Um, suppose you live live to that age where 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 God says you to says you he wants you to live and you don't want it and you start getting all mood. You could you could easily start getting all moody in that when you know you're going to die soon and you and you and you and you and you you don't you don't like the idea and you start to get moody you know you that that will mean that you can't enjoy your life of what of what's left of it and and it's and it's a bit like that that passage in the bible of of hezekiah from what i vaguely recall but correct me correct me if i'm wrong but i believe it was I believe it was Hezekiah who God who God says you live a certain age and Hezekiah wanted to, wanted to live 
for, for, for a bit longer. So, and and in the end, the, I think from what I vaguely recall, but please correct me if I'm wrong, you know, you know, Hezekiah became moody and stuff like that. And he, you know, I, don't, I don't know about moody, but he was he wasn't doing the right stuff. So yeah. Sorry, guys and ladies, I made a mistake. Basically, there was nothing about. I just read it. There's nothing nothing about Hezekiah saying that he was moody or or like any kind of negativity he basically died uh, died he eventually died and and someone and and basically basically and it says and Manasseh his son succeeded him as king so basically it says in in second kings 20, 20 chapter 20 verse 21 it says Hezekiah rested with his with, resting with his ancestors and Manasseh his son succeeded him as king but, they, but there was, there's nothing saying about him being moody or anything like that so yeah there's nothing there's nothing if you read that if you go there's nothing in that saying that he was moody this is why we have to be careful of what what preachings we listen to we have to we have to put it we have to put it we have to put it with, we have to read the bible ourselves so we gain an understanding so that that we not we not we don't read it, we don't read it by mistake or this or get deceived so don't don't regret your salvation and yeah that's really all I have to say for now so God bless peace be with you bye for now ciao